where is the voice of God at this time? I'm sure like me, you want some answers and some guidance as to what we should be doing. But can you hear God's voice? In 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 11 and 12, the prophet Elijah was running from Queen Jezebel and he ends up on the mountain of God. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountain apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. We may be short of earthquakes in this country, but at the moment there's a lot of noise. Are you letting it drown out the voice of God? Take the opportunity provided by the lockdown and spend some time being quiet, reading the Bible and listening for the still, small voice of calm. But there's another answer to the question. Where is the voice of God at this time? We are the voice of God. In the Great Commission, Jesus tells us to make disciples of all nations. It's in our words and our actions that other people will hear God's voice. So listen to God and then speak what you hear. Faith, hope and love into a world that desperately needs these things. <laughs>